Do you like going to the casino, but you hate the buffets and you don't like free drinks? Do you have extra money that you want to get rid of? Well, Atari has a solution for you. Let's talk. <laughs> Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Today we're going to talk about the Atari Casino. That's right. This video comes to you courtesy of E-King. He's the one that came up with this suggestion and gave me a couple of references here that we're going to look at. Alright guys, I'm putting the link down below to the Discord server. I finally made one. If you have suggestions for any video game business related topics, please leave them there and hopefully we can make an episode out of that. But first, let me talk to you about cryptocurrencies, right? When it comes to cryptocurrencies, let's face it, guys, most of the people out there don't know what cryptocurrencies are. You know, whenever I talk to somebody about cryptocurrencies and I ask them, well, why is yours better than X, Y, or Z? Every answer comes up pretty much the same, like, I am Groot. They have no idea what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> they just want to pump and dump, right? And you know what? Last year, it didn't matter if you didn't know anything about cryptocurrencies because you could just buy low and sell high. The money was out there. But that's not the case this year. The money has run dry. There are no more COVID checks, right? The federal printer is not going brr anymore. They're pulling everything back. All that credit has come due and people need to pay. So there's very little money out, out there, guys. So cryptocurrencies are not gonna rise anytime soon. Now to its credit, Atari's cryptocurrency is based on Ethereum, one of the more stable you know, cryptocurrencies out there. But regardless, this is not a great proposition for you. Let's talk about the casino aspect of it. First of all, let me say that it doesn't matter what casino you go to, the odds are never in your favor. That's why they have so many nice buildings. The beauty of having a virtual casino is that you don't have to invest in buildings or employees or any of that shit, right? As a business model, it's great for whoever owns a casino, right? If you can buy stock in a company that owns casinos, that's who you want to be. You want to be the owner of the casino. You don't want to be the patron of the casino because you will never win. Now, if you're not familiar with the business model of a casino, it's really simple, right? Imagine if you had a quarter that you flip where you're betting people, whether it's heads or tails, right? Here's the magic trick. That you know that your heads is gonna fall 60% of the time, sometimes 55. To make money long term, it could just be 51% in your favor. Casinos put their odds in their favors in every game. Whenever they don't give you something for free, you know <laughs> that they don't have the best of it. That's why you don't get for example, a lot of uh, comp drinks in the sports book because in the sport, sports book anything can happen. They still have a little bit of advantage because you're, you, you know, it's going 11 to 10. But you can beat them at the sports book if you play the right team, right? If you have some inside information, you can beat them, right? It's uh, that's one of the reasons they throw you out if you're counting cards. Now, counting cards in blackjack is not illegal; it's just frowned upon, right? But you can beat them right mathematically and that's why they throw you out every time they don't have an advantage they get your ass out of there now imagine having one of these places where you don't even have to put any <laughs> anybody there you don't have to give anybody free meals you don't have to give anybody free drinks you're just taking in bets 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 and you know that you're gonna win long term 52.8 percent of the time well that's a lot of money over time right and whether we like it or not, guys, humans are degenerates. And this casino is not, not only going to be live in the U.S., they're looking at China, too. Those are huge markets for gambling, right? And people my age, let's face it, I don't know that they're going to go to the metaverse, but one thing they're going to do is they will play online casinos. You know? But this is not a great proposition for you at this time. Not only the casino part of it, because that will never be a winner. The reason casino works is because some people do win some of the time, but long term, you will lose your money every single time. The odds are never against you. You will never beat the house if the casino is working correctly. When it comes to cryptocurrencies, they were you know, worth a lot 
last year because there was a lot of mar money in the market. But what is smart money doing now? They're doing the same thing I am. Pulling back, we're taking our cash back because everybody that's left in the market right now has borrowed, and pretty much everybody has borrowed to put in what they have into these crypto bets that they've made. And long term, it's not sustainable. They're gonna crash. That's what's gonna happen. Now, when that is over, whatever cryptos are left are gonna be the strongest and they might hold some value for you long term. But now is not the time to be investing in any of these things. It's, well, it's never a good time to go in a casino thinking that you're gonna make money because that's a fool's errand, right? But it's even more difficult for you to make money in this crypto market. Whether you know crypto or not, that has nothing to do with the fact that there isn't any liquidity in the market. There's no money coming in, basically. Right? So these are two bad propositions for you. What kind of crypto would you want? Free crypto, of course. If there's crypto out there that they're just starting, they're willing to give you crypto for posting something up, go ahead and take it. Free money is free money, even if it's a penny, even if it's 50, if it's 50 cents. But do not invest into the, these enterprises, whether it's your money or somebody else's money, thinking that you're gonna make money long term. The only thing, the only people this benefits is the owners. Now you can't fault a company for wanting to make money. But like I told you before, it's only when the big three get involved that you want to purchase any of these NFTs, right? And NFTs that might hold some value that will return something to you. What could that be? Why well, it's not happening now, but maybe in the future, right? Let me give you an example. Let's say uh, Death Stranding, right? Death Stranding, if you guys have played it out there, you know you have these little ladders, you can make these, these safe houses, you can do this and that and the other. Imagine that was in a blockchain, blockchain environment. And when people stop by your facility or your ladder every time they give you a like, you earn maybe a quarter of a penny of their crypto, right? And you get that per like, just like, like super chats, right? Or if somebody makes a donation, let's say they want to stay at your at your safe house, right? And they want to donate, you know, one coin of whatever denomination it is. You know the developer will take half the coin or 30 percent and they'll give you the rest sort of like youtube does right those are the kind of cryptos and, and nfts that will pay you long term in the future when the big guys get in right what there's missing right now in the market is confidence it's trust right do you trust these people to hold your money for an extended period of time and after you make money take it out right now you have crypto houses shutting down not letting people take their money out because there is no money to take out you don't want to be in that position not right now you can sit back and look how this is going to work out guys but these nfts right as much as i love atari as much as i'm loving the vcs right are not something for you to play with with money that you really need if you're thinking if you're thinking that this is going to be an investment for Think again, it will not be. New videos every Monday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and remember, never ever be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.